Hello, my name is Niels Jefferson, and I'd like to welcome you to our poster presentation on faster multi-optic segmentation using parallel quadratic pseudo-Boolean optimization. In our paper, we show that our parallel algorithm is up to 20 times faster than the previous QBO algorithm by Kolmogorov and Rother, reducing the runtime of a large segmentation task from over one hour to only four minutes. Many computer vision tasks can be formulated as minimization of a binary energy function consisting of unary and pairwise energy terms. This includes image segmentation, stereo and multi-camera reconstruction, image restoration, image synthesis, deconvolution, and more. Such minimization problems can often be solved fast and optimally using graph cut methods such as the boykov kolmogorov max flow mean cut algorithm. However, the traditional max flow mean cut graph structure is limited to submodular energy terms, while non submodular terms cannot be represented. QPPO solves this by representing each node in the energy function as two graph nodes, here represented as red and blue nodes. Each energy term is then represented as two graph edges, thereby doubling the size of the graph compared to what's needed for some modular energy functions. In the following, the blue nodes and edges represent nodes and edges in the normal graph, while red nodes and edges belong to the flipped graph. We call it flip since both its edges and the labeling are reversed compared to the normal graph. Edges between the blue and red graphs, colored in green, correspond to the non submodular terms. Now, imagine we've created a graph representing a QPPO problem. In the following, we will not be showing edges to S and T to avoid clutter. We can compute the max flow mean cut solution directly on this graph. However, the traditional QPPO algorithm uses a clever trick to speed up computations. Instead of working on the full graph, it starts out computing the solution and the residual graph for the original blue graph only. Then the flipped red graph is added by copying the blue residual graph and reversing all edges. This way, we have a partial solution for both the blue and red graph, even though only the blue part has been explored. Afterwards, the green edges are added and the combined solution is computed, exploring only the nodes that are affected by the green edges. This approach can significantly reduce the overall runtime of the algorithm by reducing the size of the graph and exploiting the fact that a new solution can be computed very fast as long as the changes to the graphs are small and don't affect the results significantly. Our parallel QPPO algorithm exploits these same attributes. Our algorithm has two phases. In phase A, we split the original graph into distinct subgraphs by removing edges between the subgraphs. Information about the removed edges is stored so that they can be added later. Because the subgraphs are disconnected, we can safely compute the min cut for each subgraph in parallel. In the example, subgraphs B through E contain only submodular terms. Therefore, their solution can be computed without adding the flipped red graph. Subgraph A, on the other hand, contains a non submodular term and is extended to compute its QPPO solution. Once a solution for each subgraph has been computed, phase A concludes and the algorithm moves to phase B. In phase B, subgraphs are merged by re adding the edges between a pair of subgraphs and computing the solution for the combined graph. If there are any non submodular terms represented by green dashed lines between the subgraphs, both subgraphs are extended with their flipped counterparts and the connecting edges are added. The merging of subgraphs continues until all subgraphs have been merged, after which the complete solution is computed. With our algorithm, the process of merging subgraphs is also performed in parallel up until the very last merge. We've tested our parallel QPPO algorithm on a large segmentation problem at two different resolutions, here denoted N1 and N2, both with several billion graph edges. For N1, our PQPPO algorithm is over 10 times faster than the previous KQPPO algorithm using 32 or more CPU threads. For the larger N2 problem, PQPO is over 20 times faster than KQPPO when using 40 or more CPU threads. We've also tested PQPPO on a set of 670 smaller image segmentation tasks, of which 502 has 16 or more nuclei. PQPPO is consistently faster than KQPPO for all 502 of these tasks, in most cases more than three times faster when using four CPU threads. Lastly, we've compared our PQPPO algorithm to other non-QPPO state-of-the-art max flow mean cut solvers on both the N1 task and the smaller image segmentation tasks. Our PQPPO algorithm significantly outperform all other algorithms in our experiment. All code, experimental notebooks, and data are available online. See the link for more information. Thank you.